I had um, it, quite an easy start compared to my sister with breastfeeding. I didn't ever have the issues that she had with rush and latch and things like that. So I kind of was a bit complacent yeah. at, at the beginning. Then just, he was about 12 weeks old. Um, I had like a few issues come up at once and I, and I had, I recognised the size of mastitis from, um, you know, the leaflets you get and things like that. So I, I went to the doctor and I dealt with that quite quickly and, and that was gone in about 10 days. But around the same time, um, I noticed that just after latch until let down, I would have this overwhelming feeling to burst into tears and cry. And it was really bizarre. I remember saying, telling my husband about it and he was like, it'll be your hormones, it'll be, you know, it'll be something to do with that. And I spent some time on the internet researching it and um, I found a website that described it completely and, and it, it was called DME and isn't very common but has put people off feeding. And because I knew that it only ever lasted till let down, I could cope with it. And once I knew that it was something that it wasn't just me that was being a bit strange, then I got through it. And I can't even remember when it stopped. It was just um, one day I realised it hadn't happened for a while. Um, and then around the same time as well, my little boy went on nursing strike. And it took me quite a while to figure out why. Um, and... It was the first time I'd gone to. I'd gone out for a meal for the first time for two hours, and I'd one perfume, and I'd come oh, back. Yeah. And it was the yeah. the next morning, the next day he wouldn't um, latch at all. And it wasn't till the following day when I washed my hair um, that he started to get back to normal. And I thought, what could it have been? And it was perfume. So I've still not. I've still not worn it since yeah. now. Yeah, we're um, still not on it. <laughs> But I didn't, it just didn't cross my mind not to wear it because it's the first time I've really gone out on my own with my friends for a meal. So, so yeah, three issues around the same time, but um, all, it, none of it pulls off. We, we, we ploughed on and we continued. And, um, and it, it just, it, everything sort, sorted itself out. And how did, how did your husband support you during that time? I think he just listened to me talking about it and... Um, he was the one who said, like, let's let's go to the walking centre. You haven't got time to get a doctor's appointment because to book a doctor's appointment, I would have to book for the following week. Um, so he drove me to the walking centre to get the antibiotics for the mastitis. And, um, then he would just listen to me talking about the, the sadness feeling and he would try and distract me for those 30 seconds a minute while it was happening. And, um, and that, that was a big help. That was definitely a big help. It's scary when you don't know what it is. Yeah, and because it, it's not very common, and ev yeah. everyone I talk to is like, I don't, I don't really know what, what, what it is or what you're experiencing. So and everyone was, just throws in postnatal depression, don't yeah. they, straight away, yeah. and feeling a little bit blue. And I knew it wasn't that because I could pinpoint exactly yeah. when I felt like crying was only the that start of the feed, and the rest of the time it was just fine. So I was like, it can't be anything underlying or. Yeah. Anything like that. Very but, physiological. Yeah. yeah. I suppose everything happening around the same time as well, I bet you just thought. <laughs> <laughs> but I was, yeah, I was determined I wasn't going to give up because by that point we got into a really good routine and going out was easy and feeding to sleep was just the best thing ever because I knew that I could get a few hours then and yeah, it didn't put me off.